Hello, I will be using Moisture Curl products. Under this bag, my hair is pre-pooing. I detangled and sectioned my hair into eight twists on each side. This prevents my hair from tangling while washing. Cleansing time! I started with Moisture Curl's Clarifying Shampoo. It is sulfate and paraben free. It contains vabasu, argan, and lemongrass oils, along with agave and coconut fruit juice. This shampoo has a very nice lather, smelled great, and was easy to distribute throughout my hair and scalp. This felt so good. My hair is low porosity, therefore my hair is prone to build up. This shampoo definitely detoxified my hair and scalp. Make sure anytime you are going to do a hairstyle that hopefully will last you at least five to seven days, your hair has to be clean. I washed the shampoo out of my hair. Look how shiny and healthy my hair looks. Now, I'm doing what I call the scratch test, where I lightly scratch my scalp to see if there are any flakes, dandruff, residue, or buildup left after shampooing. See, there's none. The shampoo did its job. Time to deep condition. I'm using the Moisture Mask Deep Conditioner. It contains coconut, babasu, and argan oil, shea butter, keratin, agave, and manuka extract. It has a very creamy consistency. I applied the mask at my ends first since they are the driest part of my hair and most prone to breakage. Then I applied it to the rest of my hair shaft. This mask provided a very easy application but didn't have a lot of slip for me to detangle my hair. Luckily, I washed my hair in twists, so I didn't have to detangle much. If needed, you could add oils to this deep conditioner. This is what it looks like when it is fully applied. The mask absorbed very well into my hair. Also, my hair felt a lot softer. This mask is minty, so it makes your scalp tingle. I deep condition with heat to help it absorb even better. This is what it looks like when it is fully washed out. You can see a little definition. My hair felt so much softer, moisturized, and hydrated. Time to style. I will be doing a wash and go. To begin this process, I am using the leave-in conditioner. It contains aloe vera juice, babasu, and castor oil. I applied it by spraying it directly on my hair. You could actually spray it in your hands and then apply it to your hair, but I actually prefer this method. Then I smoothed it into my hair. This leave-in conditioner also doubles as a detangler. It made my hair so much easier to detangle. Next up is the curling pudding. It defines and shapes curls, coils, and waves. It contains shea butter, soybean, coconut, and argan oil. The consistency is, it's not too thick, but it's not thin either, but it has a very creamy consistency as well. Just like the deep conditioner, I applied the product at my ends first, and then to the rest of my hair. This product provided a very smooth application, and it made my hair easy to detangle just like the leave-in conditioner. As you can see, I have a little bit of coil curl definition coming through. 
to define my hair, I prefer the raking method because it is easier and faster for me to do. The definition is coming through. Next up is the curl custard. It holds, hydrates, smooth, and defrizzes your hair. Like the rest of the products, it contains babasu and agave leaf extract. The custard is in a form of a gel. It is supposed to enhance and define your hair's natural curl pattern. It reduces frizz and fights shrinkage. It is best to apply this product in small sections. As I applied it to my hair, I noticed something was happening. The combination between the curl pudding and the curl custard caused my hair to flake. So I switched to the curl smoothie instead of the curl pudding. The curl smoothie contains coconut and olive oil along with shea and cocoa butter. It is thicker than the curl pudding and easy to apply to my hair. Just like the curl pudding, it made my hair easy to detangle. Look at that definition coming through. I'm raking the product through my hair just a little bit more to get as much definition as possible. Now I'm using the curl custard. Let's see how this goes. Okay, it's applying smoothly for now. Yay, no flaking. I'm continuing to rake it through my hair. This is what the definition is looking like right now in the front of my hair. I can't wait to show you the rest of it. Ta-da! This is the final result. My hair is defined, moisturized, and hydrated. Let's see how my wash and go lasted throughout the week. Day two. My hair took forever to dry and I had somewhere to go so I blow dried it. I had a little bit of shrinkage but nothing major. My hair was still very much defined and moisturized. Day three. My hair wasn't as defined as day two but it still was very moisturized. My hair was a little bit fluffier, which I typically like. My hair was more defined in the looser part of my hair. Day 4. My wash and go was starting to become a curly, coily afro, which I like. My hair was still very much moisturized, but not as defined as day two. Day five, my hair was starting to lose its definition just a little bit, but like the previous days, my hair was still very moisturized. My hair was a little bit fluffier, and it was easy for me to reshape my hair. Day six, my hair is more shrunken than every other day and this was the only day I really had to re-moisturize because my hair wasn't as moisturized as the previous days. Um, my hair looks a lot like a shrunken afro. The moisture lasted very long. 